As you all know, those of you who regularly listen to this program, I am not a big fan of television. Uh, I've I've had my own TV show. I, I don't know why. I, I know that, that television has a lot of impact. However, this program has a larger audience than most, if not all, but most cable news programs. Maybe not combined network day to day. I mean, if you take their 24 hours and add them up. But anyway, I don't know what it is. It's just I've, 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 uh, the, the whole thing, it just, it, it's all, to me, it is not natural. Now, you know, I think I finally figured out what it is. I think, honestly, I think I figured, I'm too self-conscious. I'm too famous. I am, t- y- y- the, 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 you know what, the, the primary, the primary ingredient, I'm convinced now, having done this too, the primary ingredient to be a successful or even great actor is you have to be absolutely zero self-conscious. You cannot be self-conscious at all. And if there, if you, if anybody is self-conscious to one degree or another, they're going to do badly uh, on television or in front of cameras. You know, the whole thing about cameras changed the way things would be if the camera wasn't there. But anyway... I got a call, an email this week from Chris Wallace and his staff at Fox News Sunday, and they had heard a couple things discussed on this program about the government shutdown, some things I'd said. And and they asked me if, if I would be the guest on Fox News Sunday. And my initial reaction, like every request I get, is to say no and move on. And I don't how many of these a week HR do we turn down? There must be three or four requests. I mean, from all the different networks, we just and just standard operating procedures is, is to say no. But for some reason, for some reason, I didn't say no, and I, I I paused and I thought about it for a day, and I decided to do it. So I'm gonna be the lead guest, and I'll show you how you know, give you an idea of how rare. Me being on TV is. Listen to the first four sound bites that we have in the audio soundbite roster. Here's the first on Channel 5 New York this morning. We're going to have a fascinating person to talk about all of this. Rush Limbaugh, exclusive guest, rare TV appearance. We're going to talk to him about this. We're going to talk about the possibility of a government shutdown as Republicans figure how they're going to oppose the president on the executive action on immigration. But I'm sure we're going to talk a lot about this question of the police. And, you know, when you can argue whether Rush is right or wrong, he talks about the race industry. Although, on the other hand, Rush also said that he was very troubled by what he had seen in the video in the Eric Garner case. I don't see how anybody can watch that video and not think that there was an unnecessary escalation of force by the police. And then mere moments later on Fox Washington. We're going to be talking about it with a very interesting observer, Rush Limbaugh, who is uh, going to have one of his rare... TV appearances exclusively here on Fox News Sunday this week. And we're going to talk to him. He's one of the hardliners who says no way that they should fund, uh, you know, 99 percent of the government, everything except DHS for the whole year. They have the power of the purse and they should use it. And later on Fox Philadelphia. You can agree with him or disagree with him, but I can't think of anybody more interesting to talk to than Rush Limbaugh live exclusive Sunday morning. And Fox and Friends on the Fox News Channel this morning. After all that. No, he's, I'd love to go to Palm Beach, but thank you for <laughs> offering. If I could take your private jet, Steve, I'd love to do it. We're going to do it live. He's going to be in his EIB studios live on Fantastic. Sunday morning, and we'll be up here. Yep, so i um, going to do it. Uh, Fox News Sunday, lead guest at 9 a.m. Eastern time on the Fox News channel. And, so I, and I, I mention all this because uh, it is. I can't, the last time I did, I haven't done a Sunday show, my gosh, I think since Tim Russert. Well, no, the last time I did a Fox, oh, you know, the last time I did a Sunday show was Chris Wallace. And it was here in Palm Beach. It was over at the Breakers. And I, I remember this now. Oh, this is going to be good. Whoa, this, this, it, it's six. It's six here because I remember now. I remember now. And I ought to remind, we're sitting there and we're talking about, the upcoming Obama regime, and I predicted to him what was going to happen. I said, Chris, the thing that scares me is I think it's on purpose. I think it's all by design. And and he was very polite. He didn't think I was, you know, he didn't think I was right about that. 
He was he was incredulous. Well, he was moderately incredulous. He was moderately incredulous. Um, but but he was. He, it was kind of over oh, now. Rush. Yeah, you just exaggerate. I said, no, I'm not. I I I I actually think that's what saddens me. I think all of this is being. I think it's all on purpose. I think it's by design. And now we're six years 